it's also based on how our, our natural biases are being amplified by technology. Social media has weaponized our, our confirmation bias and our tribalism and our other less than epistemic ways of thinking. And the result is that we're finding it harder and harder to collectively acknowledge the same set of facts, much less agree about what to do in response to those facts. So we're dealing with this total pollution of our information space, and it's affecting everything. And as a result, our, our trust in institutions, you know, whether it's the government or the press or universities or you know, scientific journals, is at an all-time low and worse Given what is happening, it probably should be at an all-time low. You can literally hold your breath until the next scandal arises that seems worthy of your attention. They happen over the time course of minutes now. So it's just a crazy space to even be having this conversation in. And so I want us to focus on COVID and, and get deeply into it, but I think we should talk about the way in which politics in particular is deranging the information space and science itself at this point. There's so many directions we could go in, but I, I guess with one predicate, we could start with that, sure. which is that we happen to be alive at a moment when we are experiencing something very unusual in the, in the history of our species. And that is that a new, serious, widespread pathogen has been introduced into our midst. Now, this only happens once every 50 or 100 years. And, and one of the themes, actually, of my book is that, you know, this feels very alien to us, this, this, this risk of death, this, this, this fact that we have to uh, spread out, this collapse of our economy. But I, I guess a very important idea is that plagues are not unusual for our species. This is just new to us. We think this is so weird. We think this is so unusual. We think this is so unfair. But really, epidemics of this kind have been afflicting us for, for thousands of years. Uh, that is actually an interesting story about prior to 10,000 years ago, prior to the agricultural revolution, what were such epidemics possible? And, and the gist of it is probably not. Mm -hmm. but, but anyway, from the time we invented agriculture and moved into cities, we, we've been prone to this. And in fact, the, the title of the book, Apollo Zero, comes from the opening of the Iliad, in which, in, in fact, there, there's a plague. I mean, that's, 